here we are, post-op septorhinoplasty. This young lady has just had the procedure done. You can see the cast and the tapes that are around her nose. I normally like to keep the tapes and the cast on for one full week. So normally what'll happen is you'll be back to see me two days post-operatively to remove any nasal packing. After that, at the seven day mark, that's when you'll see your initial reveal. It's important during the post-operative period to keep your head of bed elevated. No heavy lifting, no straining for the full seven days. Keep your head, uh, head of bed elevated with two pillows behind your head. I normally recommend that you use some ice packs or even frozen corn or frozen peas and wrap them in a tablecloth and gently put them over your eyes and your cheeks. Do not put it over the nose. After a septorhinoplasty operation, we have mobilized, manipulated, changed, modified, refined the nasal bones and the cartilages of your nose. Now we need the skin to retract down and conform to that new framework. The way that you tape the nose is that you take one strip of the tape and then we divide that strip of tape into two. You take one of the strips, place it along the nasal sidewall on one side and match it with the opposing side, not allowing the two ends at the bottom of your nose to touch. Then you gently squeeze them together so that you get some gentle compression, some gentle tension on the area of the nose known as the lobule. After that's done, you take the rest of the tape and place one strip over the super tip area and then subsequent strips over the dorsum of the nose to conform it down. This taping protocol is to be done for the first four to six weeks after your cast is removed. It'll just make sure that the nasal skin will contract down and conform over your new bone and cartilage. So we'll give you that prescription beforehand. A soft diet is really beneficial. Um, that would uh, entail um, custard, ice cream, yogurt, anything that doesn't really require too much chewing. Uh, you can also keep the nostrils clean by using some peroxide and some saline around the nostrils with a Q-tip. And you can also apply some polysporin and some Vaseline to the areas if you feel like it's dry. Unfortunately, you cannot shower. You can get somebody to wash your hair for you, shampoo your hair, a friend, family member, and you can take a shower with the, from the shoulders down, but it's important to keep the area around the nose relatively dry. Normally, I keep nasal packing in the nose for about two days, so you'll see me back in two days to get that packing out, and the cast with the tapes I will remove at your reveal in seven days. Please do be patient. It can take up to a full year for all of the swelling to resolve and healing to occur. It can take time and it will take time to see the final results, but we will all be with you every step of the way. I hope that these instructional videos will be of some benefit to you in outlining the post-operative care protocols here at the Toronto Plastic Surgery Institute.